city that's nearby to us the one we always go to when we go out of town um to do a little bit of christmas shopping justin's christmas bonus covers the two, two gifts we have to get so that'll work for now um for brian and macy and um we'll get everybody else's later at a later time but we wanted to get the two bigger ones out of the way because they're the most expensive. Yeah, they're the most expensive. And, and we're, yeah, we're doing we're Christmas gonna... early on the 16th because we thought Justin was going to keep his other job and we had to like make a decision like kind of last minute because they were well, doing the schedules. And, else is yeah, Matt and Macy are going to her family on Christmas and then everybody works and I don't know. That's just when we have to do it. So I guess we don't have to. We could do it like when people get off work and stuff like that. But as far as I know, we're still doing it on the 16th. So anyways, that doesn't matter. We are... Oh, Patagonia. <laughs> Patagonia. I keep saying that word, Patagonia, and I don't even know what it is. <laughs> it's clothing, I guess, or something. But they have a store over here called that, and I don't know why I say it like that. But anyway, we're coming to Five Guys for lunch because we haven't had it in forever, and it sounds delicious. So that's what we're doing. And then we're going to go do a little shopping. So we'll take you guys with us. Oh, my gosh. These Cajun fries are bomb. We almost forgot to order them, and Justin remembered. Thank God. <laughs> Alright, so lunch has been had and it's delicious as always, but we just went to a place called Battle Beaver, right? Battle Beaver Customs and they make like custom controllers. Yeah, because my little brother, excuse me, I'm like spitting on myself, um, he wanted like a custom controller for Christmas. It's one of the things he asked for for his PlayStation. Um, I don't know. They, you can put like additional buttons on them and they, you just make them how you want it to look basically instead of just going to the store and buying like whatever they got yeah. but um we thought it was like a store where you go in and you can like look at the controllers and shop and all that but no it was really weird we like we we're like there's no signs on the door or anything and like but the windows like, were trailers tinted. outside that had like yeah. the logo on it and stuff so we knew like where it was but sometimes loud. but um anyway so we were just like, I guess we just walk in. So we opened the door and there's just tables of people building controllers. And we were like, oh shoot, like this isn't a store. It was so awkward. I was like, do y'all not have like an actual store? And they were like, no. They were like, we just build and ship out. And we were like, oh. And then the, the kid that like first we were talking to, he was like, or Justin was like, oh, we were just wanting to see if y'all had any like PlayStation 4 controllers. And that guy was like, um, go talk to him. So we like, walked through them all building the controllers and went to another little area where they were building controllers and he was like yeah you basically just have to shop online he's like i mean we do have some that are already built and he was like but basically he was saying like you can't look at them you have to look at them online because they're not like a shop they're, they just build there so it was kind of a strange experience it was, weird. It was real awkward it like, made us feel really awkward yeah strange, but i mean we didn't know that you couldn't just go in there it doesn't say that on their website or anything so Oh well, now I guess we know we're not getting him a controller because that was like our last hope because we've been looking online at Scuff, which is um, a really huge custom controller brand. Um, $180. None of them are very cheap, so yeah. Even on like Cyber Monday and all that, none of them were cheap. The cheapest one was like 135 and then you have to add like your custom stuff to it and it goes up. So anyways, we're going to look for something else and we're not going to say what. Um, but yeah, we're going to go look for something else for him. And then we're not going to film in there because it's like specific things that are in there. So he'll know what we're looking at in case he watches this video. But when we go shopping for Macy's, we'll film in there because you can get anything in the places that we're going to go look for her. So anyway, we're going to skip this and then we'll see you guys at maybe like Target or Bed Bath Beyond or wherever we go next. We're at Bed Bath and Beyond now. Justin's checking out the little Roomba robot vacuum things whatever they're called there's some pretty neat ones but they're all like four hundred dollars and we get that kind of budget so i thought it'd be cool to get macy something like that but they're all expensive and then the thing we came here to get her they don't even have so i'm a little upset but we're gonna keep browsing for funsies guys look at this harry it's potter three. wand Whoa. It's a wand. It's an industry, 2000, or 2000. what is that a broom Brooms oh too. well fuck i don't know a whole lot about harry potter it looks like a wand when you first glance at it. I didn't read it. 
Macy's obsessed with Harry Potter. <laughs> they got some cool Harry Potter stuff. Whoa. She'd probably like any of this, honestly. <gasps> Look, it's like a Snuggie, but a Harry Potter. She, she, would trip on that. she would like that, yeah. That's funny. Guys, check out this Tesla. Model X. We've never seen one in person, so. We're, all We're like, out. wow, so cool. Yeah. We live in a small town, guys. You gotta remember. You don't see cars, nice cars like that every day. And but we're broke. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, no luck at Bed Bath & Beyond. There was a few things that we may go back for if we don't end up finding her the thing that we really want to get her. But it's something that we know she's going to love, so we want to make sure we're looking around good before we give up and go on to the next thing that we might could get her. Um, but yeah, Brian's hard to shop for, guys. A lot of the things that he's asking for, somebody got him or is gonna get him or is getting him something similar or you know and so yeah, we're like we don't we're unsure of like if the, yeah like a certain one that we get him mm -hmm. there's like one thing that he's asking for that we went and they had some like a few in our price range um of a hundred dollars but it's just it's something that's like you have to like pick a specific design of like what you'd like kind of like i don't know goes with your personality mm -hmm. and like what you like and sometimes yeah. he doesn't like things that we think like we everybody's like that like you think you know what they like like i've been with justin for freaking 11 years almost 12 and i still wouldn't go buy him a pair of shoes because he is freaking picky with his shoes like and it's so weird because i'm like oh he would never like those and then he'll go up and pick a one i'm like what the f like i don't know you who are you <laughs> so you just never fully like know exactly what somebody would want so and people's like personalities kind of change like, yeah based on what it is so anyway we're gonna keep looking but it is a little depressing because I don't know shopping is hard it's fun because I like getting stuff for people especially stuff that they, you know they would like or want because you're like you know they're gonna when they open it they're gonna be so excited I like that I don't know but it's a little stressful shopping but when it's done it's fun <laughs> it is fun shopping too it's just stressful anyway I've said that enough. <laughs> We're going on to the next store, which is Target. So we'll see you guys there. Justin has been looking for these chips ever since that guy on um, Twitch, Twitch told him about them, and he finally found them. All right, guys. It has been a while since I filmed. Um, me and Justin have had a hell of a time trying to find presents. I feel like the air was in y'all's ears, but um. Yeah, it's been it's been a tough time. We've been here for almost four hours, and we just now got done finding just Macy and Brian something. So that tells you that we didn't have the best of luck. The thing we wanted to get Macy, I guess I can say it now because we didn't get it for her. It was a freaking mixer, a stand mixer. She's been wanting a stand mixer for a really long time, and she wants a KitchenAid one, but those are like two hundred and twenty dollars. So we were gonna get her like a different brand one, but nobody carries anything but KitchenAid. You have to order online if you want something else, and. We did find one online, but it's not in stock until December 2nd, and then we don't know how long it's going to take to get it, or if we even get one, because they might sell out again before we get to a chance to get one, so who knows. So we just went with something else for her, but I think she's really going to like it. And then we also got Brian's gift. Again, it wasn't one of the main things he asked for, but I think that he's really going to like that as well. So I'm excited. I'm happy about it. More happy to be done and have it over with, because that was stressful. I got super excited about Macy's gift. <laughs> He did. And it's probably something that I should be getting excited about because we'll tell you eventually. You can't say it yet because I know Macy. She, I don't know if she watches all my videos, but every once in a while she checks up on them because um, she's like, "What's your channel name again?" Or I think she subscribed last time. She better have Macy. If you're watching this and you ain't subscribed, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, we did go to Ulta too, and we bought some stuff, and we got a free blanket. Yeah. So, uh, so that was nice. They weren't supposed to give it to us actually, but yeah. Um, it, like the purchase had to be like over a certain amount and it was like eight dollars shy of being that much but she already like let us pick a blanket out and stuff and the other lady was like well i feel i guess she felt bad that we already got to pick it out so she went ahead and gave it to us free blanket and the blanket did ring up as fifty dollars so it was a fifty dollar blanket yeah that's Cause, crazy because the blanket at first it showed up like and we like fifty dollars more than our purchase and we're like what the fuck like, i was like how come it charges for that blanket and she goes what 
She was about to get in on my about it. Like, she no, a, I just didn't want to. I was like, why would you let me pick out a blanket and tell me it's free and then charge me $50 for it? <laughs> I was like, what the heck? But, yeah. So, we did get a free blanket out of the deal. And I'm excited about it. Free anything is good these days. Right. So. But we're parched. So, we are going to go get something to drink and then probably head home. Uh, we don't want to drive home when it's dark. You guys know our car's missed up in the front. We don't want to hit any other animals or anything like that. So, we want to get home before it gets too dark. But I just wanted to update you. It's been a while since we've talked to you, and that is why. Because <laughs> we got frustrated and was just like, you know what? F it. We're just going to go in. We just were running in and out of stores, in and out of stores, trying to find her a dang mixer, and we couldn't find one. So I'm sorry, Macy. I know you want one of those, but maybe one day. Um, but yeah, she didn't even ask for one. We just know that that's something that she's been wanting. So it's not like she's going to be let down or anything. Um, we were just really excited to get her that, and we couldn't find one in our price range so but that's okay like I said what we got her I think is really cool and if she doesn't like it I like it so I'll steal it from her <laughs> no I'm just kidding all right guys we've been seeing people do mukbangs mukbangs I don't know the correct pronunciation of that word eating that. shows on YouTube uh with these Burger King cheesy tots so we decided we're gonna try them um Justin cut his mouth open with a straw <laughs> just now so He's like, I don't know if I can eat any. He's like crying. It hit me in my eye. Like, it scraped tongue. his tongue and, and his then it, like, throat. Like, it went like that, like, and then jabbed back in there. And then I did it again and it went to my throat. Well, he had it in his mouth. Hold on, let me put these things down. He had the straw in his mouth and then he looked over this way and he, so it hit the door and it jammed into his throat. And I was like, why did you have that in your mouth? He's like, I don't know, but it hurts. <laughs> So, anyways, we're gonna try these little things. Don't show me because I'm gonna say something right here. What? I said, don't show me eating one. Why? Because my tongue's all messed up. And I'm gonna be it tastes like nothing, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. It tastes like a tater tot. I don't really taste the cheese, I guess. I don't know. They're not bad if you like tater tots. So, there you go. That's what I think. <laughs> Anyways, we're on our way home. We're going to snack on these tater tots. And then that's it, I guess. We'll see. So, guys, it is the next day. I completely forgot to finish the vlog yesterday. Uh, we had a really fun day. It was just a little bit tiring and we came home and uh, I edited my video. I cooked us some spaghetti and garlic bread for dinner and then that was it. We played Fortnite and just kind of chilled and hung out and that was all. That's all we did. So uh, I just wanted to end the video. Sorry I forgot to end it yesterday. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new, be sure to subscribe and... Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow.